Our greatest responsibility is to be good ancestors. Jonas Salk. January 1st. The bunch of us went out to Park Lake and had a great skate in moonlight. Catherine Breda, 1914. February 3rd, cleaning out hog pens and hauling out manure. Edwin Kempke's, 1914. April 22nd, started on land today, plowing all day in field east of barn, Edwin Kempke's, 1914. May 20, poor watchman Kaufman lost his life at our Eagle Tannery by being scalded. Louis J. Brightup, 1914. July 25th, bathing in Grand River, enjoying the new summer house very much. Had a large family party and housewarming. Louis J. Brighton, 1914. July 29th, war clouds darkening in Europe and a bloody conflict seems imminent on sea and land. Louis J. Brighton, 1914.
August 13th. Warning. The farmer who hoisted a German flag on Monday morning just hauled it down in time. Our German friend better keep his flag down or there will be trouble. Elmira Signet Newspaper, 1914. September 3rd. Where are all them fellers who were fighting the army worm a couple months ago? Don't notice any of them enlisting. Elmira Signet Newspaper, 1914. September 24th, loading turnips and took four loads to Branchton. Edwin Kempke, 1914. September 30th, fine weather continues. The finest fall in years. Louis J. Brightup, 1914. It is reported that the Germans have run out of chloroform and ether. This explains the manner in which the people of that country have been unconscious of the Kaiser's ambitions. Berlin News Record, 1914. November 20th. Finished threshing 973 bushels of wheat in two days. Edwin Kempke's, 1914. December 10th. Dear Vera, down here we snowball each other. Come down sometime to see my Christmas presents from Santa Claus and our Christmas tree. From Irene. December 25th. This will be the most memorable Christmas I've ever spent, or likely to spend. The Germans commenced by placing lights all along the edge of their trenches and coming over to us, wishing us a happy Christmas. Some of our chaps went over to their lines. Kind regards to all the neighbors. Letter home from an unknown soldier. British Expeditionary Force, 1914. 